Hi everyone, welcome, it's Lonnie. You are watching Grace Blossoms for you, and I pray that you will actually press into the Lord and have Grace Blossom for you personally. All right, so today I want to make cards. Excuse the rustling. I have these um, white cards, card bases that I want to use up, so Usually for this time of year, I go for the colored bases, so I have to do less work. But this year I found an even easier way. So I'm using white and I'm gonna leave the inside blank for right now, but I found an easy way to decorate these. It was a combination of things I saw other people do and I thought, hey, formula. That works. So I'm um, just going to fold up some. Don't want to get all the color everywhere. So and these, I have to confess, they grew on me. The first time I made them, I didn't really think I liked them. And then the morning after when I saw them again, I'm like, hey, they're not bad. And you could customize these to however you like. So I don't know. Stay tuned and see if you like what we come up with. So the idea is take a card base. Apply a background color of your choosing. I mean, it helps to plan these things out in advance. So um, I'm going to say these are generic cards in the sense that you can tailor make these for any event or season or holiday that you like. Um, they can also be great generic cards. So, um, my intention is to make thank you cards for Christmas time. So, I have a few things that I want to do. I'm going to put some splatter. Well, for some of them, I'm going to use splatter. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, I'm going to put like a background color on. And then I'm going to put a background paper. And then I'm going to put a focal point and a word strip or a word tag or a word bit. Okay, so sorry, it's really early and I'm trying to put my thoughts into words, which is sometimes a little more difficult than others. Okay, so what I'm going to start with this time is my watercolors and I'm going to lay down some colors that I want and let's see I'm going to start with this background paper so I want something in the background that's going to make this kind of stand out so I'm going to use maybe and I always start with the gold first I don't know why And I should have put a paper down to catch all my drips. All right, I'll use this messy one. Sorry about that. Okay, so then I'm going to just drop some. And this is up to you how you want to do this. You don't have to use watercolor, obviously. You could use whatever you like. For my first batch, I used acrylics and um, that worked perfectly great. I will show you those probably when I'm waiting for this to dry. And let's see what other color do I want. Maybe some red. And I'm mainly trying to get the edge here. 
and you could totally draw on here you can do whatever you want this is just a simple formula okay and then okay I'm gonna say that's good all right then I have to wait for this to dry unfortunately because it is watercolor and I'm gonna ink this up while I'm waiting And so what I've done here is I've just taken some digital um, wrapping paper kind of uh, pattern and I just printed it out and I cut it into little squares. And I did get a lot of these digitals that I'm using today. I, use, I, I got from Creative Fabrica or the other go-to I have is um, Making and Creating. This one is from Creative Fabrica. All right. So then, I'm just going to make a little more room here. So I'm going to put the glue. And because these are seasonal cards, um, I think it's perfectly fine to use um, glue sticks. I'm not making it to last forever necessarily. It's just going to end up serving as a thank you card. And so I feel totally fine using the glue stick. All right, so then I'm gonna plop that basically right in the center, in the center-ish. Straight would be good, but not necessary. All right, see, so I've made some splotches here. So I think I'm just gonna go in and make it look like that was done on purpose. I can always put some more on later. Okay. Like I said, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so for that one, I was thinking my focal point I would like to be this poinsettia, which I got from Creative Fabrica. I just have to decide which way is up. And I'm going to put it kind of to the side, just to break up the, the page a little bit. Something about the rule of thirds. So I'm going to put it on this um, side and just because I printed this out on heavier paper I'm gonna I'm gonna use the gl good glue on this one because it needs to stick to two papers here and again which way is up which way is down so basically right about there is where I decided I wanted it. So I think these cards would be perfect for um, when you don't know if somebody celebrates say Christmas but you don't want to offend anybody and you just want to you know say something nice. Um, I think these would be great for that because you're not going to, um, you don't have to specifically say Merry Christmas or anything else like that, so. Okay, so now I'm putting dots in because I realized I really liked how dark it was before. So, I'm just, I guess I kind of messed that up on purpose so you could see that this is going to turn out anyways. But this time I will try to let it dry. So, yeah. Okay, so that's one. And I haven't done the word strip yet. So, with, for my word strip, I'm just taking little bits of um, paper that I have laying around here and I basically decided on one word okay so I'm just gonna write a word on and my word 
of choice is joy. Joy unspeakable. All right, so then I'm just going to ink this also. So yeah, I think these could be a lot of fun and could be made to suit any occasion. And isn't that always the best way? Okay, so for this, I'm going to just put it right on the edge of my background there. And so that is our first one pretty much done. I mean, you can add things if you want. Um, I was just thinking some more gold would be nice. So I probably will do that. But for now, I'm going to put this one aside so it can dry and we can move on to the next one. And then I will show you the one I made. Okay, so this one has the acrylic in the background. And then I came back later and splattered some gold watercolor on top. And then I put this, um, this was the, this was actually scrapping, scrapbook paper I had left over from last year. And then I put this gingerbread man on. He, this one I got from making and creating, but he wasn't this big originally. He was smaller. I did that for myself in Photoshop. And then there's my word. And as you can see, it's blank for now. I might do a little bit more. I might round the edges or come back with a little finishing touch here or there. I don't know. It, I think it's okay. If I, these are kind of like the base. If I feel later on that it needs more, I can always come back and do more. Okay, so I had three of those made. And then for this one, I was thinking like a generic winter type. So what I was going to do is I took some of that book page that I did on the jelly plate and I thought this would make a nice background. So then for the, for the very base, I don't know, I think white could actually work because winter, you know, snow type thing. And also I was thinking of adding some snow like white drops maybe of acrylic or gouache whatever you have um and then coming in with like say an owl oh that's right but i wanted to go this way so then the owl i was thinking could go in the corner like so or up here and again, my painty paper isn't perfectly straight, but that's okay. I'll just put the narrow part up at the top. I'll put the owl over here. And then again, the word could be joy. It could be anything you want, really. It could be a phrase too. It wouldn't have to just be one word. So for, yeah, let's say I'm gonna leave the background but I do want to um, round the corners or something. Try that. For some reason. Okay, so like that. And then like that. And then maybe I'll put the word up there. And then maybe I'll just do a slight, like, uh, a gilded edge. Okay. So yeah, these are coming together really quickly and easily. I mean, I did get some things ready before because I knew what I wanted to do. And I think that's half the battle is just deciding on what it is you want to see on the card. Okay, so that's a very thin paper, so 
again the glue stick will work and I didn't get it on the edge okay and then this guy I don't know he looks so sleepy I think I got him from I think he was from making and creating I think all these little cards were okay so then I'm, because this is paint I'm going to use the good glue just especially around the edge Roughly like so. Now I did not ink this one, but that's okay. And then again for my word. Okay, I'm going to ink that one. Yeah, so how are you doing? Are you making cards? Are you in the mood to make cards? For me, um, it snuck up on me this year. I was not feeling it at all. And then just all of a sudden, I'm like, well, if I'm going to, I better start. So, okay, I'm going to have that one overhanging that one again. And then I could do the splatter thing again, but pardon me, all these things falling. Like I said, I could do the splatter thing and I totally don't mind, but for the video now I feel like I want to um, not wait for it to dry. So I'm just gonna, I mean it can be, can be neat, it can be messy, and I keep forgetting that the brush is messy with this stuff. So I think I'm going to just grab some of that onto my fingers. And then just kind of smear it on. It does crumble on the brush. So even though it, I think it has essential oils in it, it's a little bit on the dry side if you use a brush. I think it has essential oils in it because when I when I open it I can I get this serious whiff of orange so okay so that will finish that one off nicely I think um, this is called luster wax it's by Sizzix the writing on here is so small I can't even see it even with my glasses. It's got some things on it. Flammable, I take it. Yeah, I don't know what all that stuff means, but I like it for the effect it gives me. So, there's that one. And then... Let's see, I'll do one more. Take another base. Oh, what do I want to do this time? Maybe one of these little bird tags. It kind of suggests Christmas with the um, berries and the color of the birds. And these also were from making and creating now for this one, I just had a thought. What if we took three of them? And two, they don't, some of these aren't the same size, that's okay. Some of them I cut down, some of them were narrower, some of them were wider. I don't know, for some reason I'm getting like the window pane thing here. Um, maybe I don't want that one. Maybe I want 
something like this. And then it will give me like a, cause there's blue in that bird there. Oh, yeah, but do you see how um, this could go different ways? Also, I don't like the blue. I have this green. I think I might want to try the green. And that's where these um, painted papers come in so handy. It would be nice if I could figure out which which way is straight. Okay, let's try that. So that kind of reminds me of a, you know, the, 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 it's cold to me. So looking like this could maybe suggest that. We're looking out the window and we're seeing these birds and two, maybe I want some of the smaller ones. Okay, I'm gonna put this down and then I'll decide. But yeah, I think once you decide kind of what you're going to put down, if you are using the formula, then it's not going to, it's not going to take very long to put these together. Okay, it's a little crooked. That's all right. And again, I did not ink it. Oh, well. Okay, so I have different sizes here. I think they're all different sizes. Is that the only blue one I had? Just a one blue bird. All right, so that one's kind of neutral. This one's totally red. Put the blue one in the middle. all different. That's totally fine. I'm just saying. Okay. I think that'll work. I did ink the birds already, so. And then too, I was thinking of maybe painting like little I don't know, maybe draw in little snowflakes or something. Something like that. Yeah. I'm going to do this one first. Okay. So yeah, these would be great for a mask make. You just cut out a bunch of backgrounds. Yeah, see, I, I did a rebel thing there. I went outside the, um, the background. And, you know, that's totally fine. Oh, too, I had another idea, too. I haven't even thought to implement it yet. Maybe we'll do that for this one. It doesn't have to be all right on the mat. This way they, the sides match there. Okay. So what I was thinking, I have this bright green ribbon. And I think I think I'm going to try it. So then, it might be a little too wide for this project, but it's the only green ribbon I have that's sort of Christmassy. I have another olive green one, but 
So I could put that kind of in the corner like that. Or if you have other ribbon that you like, I don't know, I got this funny silver one. Not funny, but it's kind of short. You could also make like a frame. Something like that to shiny it up some. Also, I could cut a bigger strip, I guess, if I really like it. That one is, I guess I call it funny because it's, um, it's stretch, like it loses, it's easy to, um, ruin it because it's not very strong. Okay, so it's a kind of fiddly because I didn't make it ahead of time. But I think I do like that. It's kind of, it adds a little something in case you were thinking that, you know, it's not, not the prettiest card or if you think it maybe needs something and like an added touch. So something like that. And I do like my bow parts to be even. So then I'm going to grab my hot glue. Now this will add bulk to your card, obviously. And two, these little shiny bits that are falling off the ribbon. They might make for some good sparkle. All these things, you know, we can reuse, but then you have, kind of have to have a place to store them. This reminds me of tinsel, actually. I'm thinking of something. If I, I don't know, what would I use? Maybe fabric, this um, tacky glue. Maybe put a dot here. Cause then that will dry clear. So then can I get it all to land on there? Just the shiny stuff, not the <laughs> and now it's sticking to my finger. I was thinking that could look like a piece of frost or something. Or a snowflake. Okay. Maybe not the best idea, but... I got a bunch of it stuck to my finger. Okay, so it's shiny. It's sparkly. It will all be good. Okay. So, let that dry. And then I can always cover this up with a word. I think I'll use that color this time. And done with that one for now. I think I'm going to just dress up the word. And 
cover that because I think I'm done with it. I'm going to put the word beside right there. I like that. And then I might add some more, um, I don't know, some dark blue snowflakes or something. I would need, let's see, use a small brush, which is the darkest blue. Okay, this is really random, so bear with me. Make a line. Make another line. Make smaller lines. <laughs> you don't have to be very fancy. Anyways, I might put one there. One here. Okay, something like that. I'll call that good for now. Okay, let's see. One more. I'll show you how I did the gingerbread man one. Well, with the variation. I don't want to pull out my acrylic paint. Or do I? No. <laughs> I wish I had thought of this sooner because, um, well, let's see. How versatile is Gingy here? Yeah, not so much. Okay, so <laughs> how about a stocking? All right, and then we got to do it this way again. And this time I will, I'm just going to grab the darker piece here. And I will ink this one. These um, ink applicators, daubers, sponges, they don't last very long. I find they're always falling apart. Okay, enough complaining. Put some glue on here. And I'm putting it upside down on purpose. It's not winter writing that's on there. We're just using it for the color. Okay. Then this one can go up top because it's a stocking and we hang stockings. Okay, something like that. And then, that a nice blue. The green would work, mind you, because there's green in there. But, see what else I can come up with. Okay, so I'm back and I did a little bit more work here. And I just took a small brush and dipped it in some green and just made um, some holly looking shapes and I added some berries and now I'm going to put this on the center oops I want it the other way around This would work good with real wrapping paper too. I just find it so flimsy to work with. I went this route. 
All right, so then because the watercolor is very like faint, I was thinking I would like to do my favorite thing with watercolor and that's to just outline. Something like that. Might not be completely dry because my pen is not really liking that, but that's okay. This will work. So yeah, I think we got quite a few done. And like I said, if you have the things ready ahead of time, this probably would not take long at all. Okay, so there's that, and then, I don't know, we have a lot of things to choose from. I think not that one this time because we have the flowerish. There, I think that would work well. Okay. So he's overlapping the wrapping paper and that's perfectly fine. And then one more word. All right, so there's that one. And there's still room for gold or more holly if I choose to do that. I'd, I may just leave it cause it's, you know, kind of simple and I like that too, so. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today. And um, let me just get out the ones that we've made. That one. That one. Um, this one. This one I showed you that I had made previously. And then while I was off camera, I did finish this one and I added some gold dots and some gold snowflake thingies or stars, however you want to look at them. And so there we go. That's roughly six. So anyways, thanks for joining me and we'll see you again next time. Happy crafting.